Episode 1 of Rainbow Jane Conquers Mount Sloth. Deep in the rainforests of Sloth Island, Jane lies stricken with yellow fever. Admiral Parrot marches for help in ever-widening circles. I must get help. Oh, at last, a native village. Hmm. Oh, they're all dead. What a pity. Well, at least they died smiling. Ah, oh, here's one of their strange objects. Look at this. A horn of plenty. Hmm. Wish I'd had a bottle of yellow fever medicine. For yellow fever, one teaspoon three times daily. Hmm. Rainbow Jane Conquers Mount Sloth, Episode 2. In a native hut in the slothful forest, Admiral Parrot discovers a horn-shaped shell, the Horn of Plenty. I've got rather little to two savages. They will spring at me at any moment. I'll throw the shell at them. Oh, take that, you heathen. <laughs> Roar. I'll dash between their legs. Ah, don't call me Admiral Parrot for nothing. I did it. I got away with the medicine. Now all I have to do is find Jane again. Guarded by her faithful anteater, Jane lies delirious in the forest. She is dreaming of doorbells. Will Admiral Parrot be able to find his way back to her? Jane, where are you? Oh dear, what's that rumble? <laughs> Rainbow Jane conquers Mount Sloth, episode 3. Admiral Parrot has obtained the medicine with which to cure Jane of her fever. But... <laughs> oh, Jane lies delirious. Admiral Parrot has not come back with the medicine. Rrr, says the anteater as the strange sloths stare at her. The volcano is rumbling. Jane, I've found you. I've got the medicine, says Admiral Parrot, rushing up to help. Rainbow Jane conquers Mount Sloth, episode four. Stricken with yellow fever, surrounded by natives and sloths in the darkest rainforest, Jane dreams. She imagines fighting Mr. Big at the bottom of the sea. She is delirious. She is feverish. But really, she's fighting Admiral Parrot, who's trying to get the medicine down her throat. But in real life, he's doing his best. She comes to her. She changes colour. Where am I? Thank goodness the medicine's finished. She's well again. Ah, it's funny. I hear voices. Oh, the savages I stole the medicine from. Quick, Jane, hide. I don't know what's going on, but I'll hide anyway. And they watch as the natives capture the poor sloths. Will the hapless sloths be sacrificed to the mountain by the natives? Jane and her friends must rush to their rescue. Episode 5. Stop! That's an order! Rumble, 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 says the mountain. The startled natives drop the sloths on the ground. This will teach you not to be slothful. Take that! Oh, a time you had a haircut! But Jane and her friends are outnumbered. Soon they are captured. Now it is their turn to be sacrifices. Oh no, they're going to throw me into the volcano. God of the rainbow, save me now and be quick. <laughs> says the volcano. Rainbow drain conquers Mount Sloth, episode 6. Mount Sloth erupts. <laughs> quick, beat to quarters. <laughs> Wait for me. Head for the jungle. Jane and the natives flee. Wait, the sloths, they can't run. They move too slowly. I've got to save them. I've got to go back and save the sloths. Jane heads up the mountain in the face of the eruption. As the first volcanic bombs fall about the cone of the erupting mountain, Jane dashes back into the kitchens of hell to rescue the sloths. Admiral Parrot is nonplussed. Oh, Jane's running that way. Oh, I'll have to fast, run faster now. Catch up with her. Wonder where all the smoke's coming from. Squeak, 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 says the anteater, rushing back. Jane has got the sloths by the tail, and she's pulling them out of the lava. Oh, but as she drags them up the hill, but, <coughs> oh, I can't breathe. Oh, God. And his admiral and the anteater, and the anteater race up, oh, in a desperate bid to save the sloths from the rising lava. Jane is overcome by sulfurous fumes. Admiral Parrot and the anteater race to her rescue, but it's no good. Jane and the sloths are too heavy for us to move. This looks like a case for a lightning decision by a flag officer. I've got to stop the lava, that's it, but, but how? Suddenly Admiral Parrot remembers the Horn of Plenty. He zips down the hill as fast as he can through the forest and arrives back at the native settlement. I must hurry. 
He grabs the Horn of Plenty. I've got it, the Horn of Plenty. It's going to save our lives. Episode 9, Admiral Parrot's mad dash to the native village has caught the villagers by surprise. He has snatched the Horn of Plenty. Can he return to his friends in time? No time to argue, I fear. Take this! I hope this overgrown snail shell makes more than medicine. Admiral Parrot rushes back to help. I'm in time. Oh, where am I? Now, touching the Horn of Plenty, Admiral Parrot says, I want 20 million gallons of water right now. He has put out the volcano. Oh, I didn't conquer Mount Sloth. I drowned in it. What a wet ending. Thank <laughs> you.